we'll guide you through how to download and install Fabric mods in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Mods can really go and enhance the game and go and add different features and make it better. So to get started, let's quit the game. Here we are on the desktop and let's go and open up a web browser. And now what we can do is go and search for a site called CurseForge. This is a site where you can get loads of different Minecraft mods from, as well as other game mods as well. And what we can do is select Minecraft. Go and press browse all if you want to browse, or if you've got one in mind, you can go and type in a mod like so. For example, I want to go and get the Rotten Creatures mod. So I'll go and click here. And what we can do is come to the right of the description, press files to the right, and we can then go and see the different versions here. What you need to do here is choose the version. I like to get the most recent one and then make sure the mod loader goes and says fabric. And we can then press the three dots and press download file. It will then go and download. Now for Rotten Creatures, we need to go and get platform. So if we click requires platform, we brought here. And what we can do is press files to the right and scroll down. And then what we need to do is make sure we go and get platform for the same game version and for fabric. So in this case, I went and got it for 1.20.1. .1. So therefore we can come to the right, make sure it's for 1.20.1 .1 and it's the fabric, press the three dots and press download file. What you can now do is start going and downloading more mods as well. And now what we need to do is go and search for fabric. Add Minecraft just to help find it and come to fabricmc.net. Now what you can do is go and press download and press download for Windows. Now we've gone and downloaded it, but we also need to get the API. So click on that just below the download button and you can press files. Now we can come down here and make sure we get fabric API for the same version as we got the mod for. In this case is for 1.20.1. .1. So press filter by and we can scroll down here and go and find 1.20.1. .1. And then I can come over to the right here and we can go and download it. I'll press the three dots and press download. We've now downloaded what we need, but before we get any further, a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring the video. I'll put a link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. And at the moment you can get 30% off your first invoice. Apex is great for playing with friends as well as just running a server as well. They've got so many great features like DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support so you can get the help anytime you need it instant setup amongst many other things as well. So if you're interested, I'll link them down below. Thanks to them for sponsoring the video. So to continue with the install process, come to the bottom and you can open up your file explorer. I'll come straight to my downloads or you can just press downloads to the left. And what we then need to do is go and run the fabric installer. So double click on it. For the version, this is super key. We need to go and install it for the version we got the mod for or mods, which is 1.20.1 .1 in my case, and then press install and we've installed it. We can then close it and we can go and open up the Minecraft launcher. At the top, you can go and press installations. We need to scroll down and go and find fabric 1.20.1, .1. it's here. Go to the right and press on the file or folder icon and file explorer will open up. Now we can scroll down and go and find the mods folder and go and double click on it. And here we need to go and add in the mods. If you can't see a mods folder, you can create one. So let me come to the downloads folder and we can start dragging and dropping them in. Here we are. And of course, make sure you add in the fabric API. Then what you can do is hover over it and press play to the right. Understand it's modified and press play. It's now loaded. You can see it says fabric in the bottom left. And now let's go and create a new world. The mod I install added in more mobs and we can go and see them here. And I can go and find them in my inventory. 